What's up guys, my name is NFT Pass and today we're gonna to be going over how to fast subscribe on the Ord Wallet. Also, I wanna give a big shout out to Post Capone because without him, I would not have known the exact technique to do this. So big thank you to him. All right, so one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is install Sparrow Wallet. So at first it's gonna tell you a couple of things that you're gonna see, things kind of like a, the public server or like the Bitcoin node server, stuff like that. Once you do get out of that, it might prompt you to create a new wallet. If not, go up here get a new wallet. I'm gonna name this test for this purpose. And just because I'm, I'm used to doing this, it may not be correct. It may not be like the only way I'm gonna use Taproot. Um, then I click new or imported software wallet and then I'm gonna use 12 words. I'm gonna generate this and then write, I'm gonna write down the key phrase, right? I'm not gonna do it because too long to do. And then you're gonna create the key store and just confirm it one more time by like typing it in. Afterwards, you should have created a wallet. So one of the first steps you're gonna wanna do is figure out how much you actually need to fund your wallet. In order to do this, you're gonna wanna go over to the actual folder where you're gonna keep all the images that you're gonna wanna inscribe. Uh, you're gonna find the one that's the largest file just to be on the safe side after you figure out which one's the largest one you're gonna want to come over here pretty much like an inscription cost calculator you're gonna want to input the the kilobytes for the largest file you had and your expected fee rate now fee rate it really depends you know like for now it's at seven who knows if it could be more even though you might put it at 30 or a large number it doesn't mean you're always gonna be paying 30 it just means that you're willing to kind of go up to that amount. For my purpose, because I, I wanna inscribe this, you know, guaranteed like within the next block, I'll put it at 30. Um, hopefully, you know, fees don't go up. If you wanna check how much you need to put in, definitely check out the site. I don't know if I mentioned it in my last tutorial, but you always wanna go for high priority just because I, I personally don't like waiting like the extra couple of minutes for like the second block possibly. And once you do input the information uh, for your largest file, as well as your fee rate, you're gonna get a Satoshi amount, which is the amount that it's going to cost to pretty much inscribe. But what you need to do as well is you need to take this amount and you also need to add the dust limit on top of that, uh, which is kind of below 600. For this purpose, we'll put 600 just to be on the safe side. And then we're also gonna do 10,000 Satoshi because each inscription always comes out with the output of 10,000 Satoshis. And the reason why it's always at 10,000 Satoshis is because it needs to use some of the Satoshis as fee. And I believe Casey just thought 10,000 was probably the best number. So after you end up adding up the amount, you're gonna get the rough amount of Satoshis that it's going to cost per inscription. And if we go to this converter here, you input the exact amount, 50,000 Satoshis, it's gonna cost me roughly $11 per uh, inscription or 0 0.005. So in my case, I need to inscribe at least 12 of these, making it be 12 times 0 0.0005. I need to pretty much send over 0 0.006, which is roughly $132. This is probably a conservative amount just because we probably might not need to actually use a full amount because not every single file is gonna be like 5.26 kilobytes. This is just the largest. And we might not even need to use this fee rate, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. So it's always important to overestimate. And once you actually do have the exact amount of Satoshis you're gonna need for each transaction, this is when you're gonna wanna start creating new addresses for your wallet. And real quick, in case you do wanna create a new wallet, all you really need to do is do your regular Ord command. I don't know if you need the cookie file, depends on the person, but after you do that, you do dash dash wallet and then the name of the wallet. So in my case, I'm calling this pixel block space wallet create. This will form a second wallet and it'll create a mnemonic phrase for it. I've already created it. So in my situation, I would just do wallet receive and then I'll generate a new address. And I'm gonna come over here to the send portion of Sparrow Wallet. In here, I'm gonna put out my Bitcoin address. Uh, for the label, I'll just put in a pixel block. In the sat amount, this is where you're gonna want to put in the exact amount that we kind of talked about. And for the fee, all we really need to do is be in high priority or in the red. So essentially what we're doing is we're creating multiple UTXOs using this method. This is because we're able to split up our Bitcoin into separate different wallets and each wallet is going to contain one UTXO. So if we look at my last tutorial when I talked about the Exodus wallet and how you could use it to send Bitcoin to Ord wallet, that is one transaction and I believe you can only get one UTXO from that, which means that if you try to in inscribe something, you're only gonna be able to inscribe one at a time because 
because once your UTXO ticket is used, you have to wait until your transaction goes through. And at that point, you'll receive another UTXO back. But with this process, you're able to split up your Bitcoin into several different wallets, which creates several different UTXOs. After we make sure everything's good here, we click add and we created one possible transaction that's gonna be part of like a larger batch transaction. So once we do that, all you're gonna wanna do is hit the up arrow key and it'll redo your previous command. And we're gonna take this new wallet. We're gonna come down here. Uh, we're gonna make sure we get the correct amount of sats. Uh, make sure we're in a high priority and then click add. And this is all kind of like a, a tedious process. It's just continual like copy and pasting. Also uh, a little note, just in case I didn't explain it, whenever you type in a new wallet or whenever you wanna refer to another wallet that's not the first wallet you ever created on Ord, you always need to follow up the Ord command by dash dash wallet and then the name of the wallet afterwards with a space in between. And then you could do your wallet and then whatever command it is. All right, and once we do have all of these batch transactions set up, you're gonna to want to head over to create transaction and then you wanna and then you wanna finalize the transaction, hit sign. You want first off, you wanna make sure everything's like good, right? I'm assuming everything's good on my end already. And then we're gonna want to put in your password and then you broadcast a transaction and then you should see a transaction of a large amount of sats and if you want to check uh how it's doing you could come down here to transactions so while we're waiting for this transaction to go through which it just actually did we want to actually start moving on to the next step which is creating a bat file now pretty much what a bat file is going to do it's is it's going to execute multiple commands on the command line and in order to do this we're going to want to right click within our ord folder and then do text document you want to name it whatever for this purpose i'll name it pixel block open it up and then within this text file you're going to start writing the command to inscribe whatever you want to inscribe um for my purpose because i'm using another wallet i have to add in this extra point but yeah it should be like normal for me there's going to be number nine and then you want to set the fee rate to whatever uh, you chose to set it at which you should have chosen at the beginning of this tutorial after you write in the command you want to hit enter and then type in pause essentially what this is going to do is when you launch this file into the command prompt it's going to launch this code and then afterwards it's going to pause and wait for us to click another key to continue so what we're going to want to do is copy this hit enter to go to the third line paste and then paste and then paste until essentially we get exactly what we need and then at the end what you're going to want to do is also write in pause and even though you've copied and pasted it all you definitely want to make sure that when you actually inscribe that the file names are all different or else you're going to be doing the same exact file and this is why i recommend having like a very like simple naming system so all i have to do is really just come in here and just change the two numbers and and once you finally have configured the correct path file for each file you want to inscribe, for me in this example, I'm only doing, uh, I, I think like 12, right? But if you want to go crazy, right? And you've prepared for it, you could do like a hundred inscriptions. It's pretty wild. After you have this notepad file set up though, you want to go over here to save as, save it within your ord folder and save as type as all files and just name it whatever you want with the .bat file extension. After you do that, you don't necessarily need this text file anymore so you could delete it. All you need is this bat file. So you want to come over to your ord wallet and all you're going to want to do is type in the dot bat file that you just created. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna start creating a whole bunch of inscriptions at once. See how it goes. So as you can see, we have one. It's gonna ask us to press any key to continue. We're gonna hit okay. That's another one, and then three, and then four, five, six, seven, and then 12. And now we're all done. <laughs> it was literally like 12 clicks. So after it's finished, all you're gonna wanna do is hit Control C. It's gonna ask you if you wanna terminate the batch job. Just click Y, hit Enter, and you're pretty much done. All you wanna do is copy this commit transaction uh, head over to mempool, check it out. As you can see, it's gonna finish in nine minutes. If you don't get uh, the correct sat amount right, obviously the transaction's not gonna go through. If that happens, and let's say you're like 50 out of 100 inscriptions, right, of your batch, all you wanna do is right click on your bat file, show more options, and then hit edit. And all you need to do is take out all the points uh, that have already been inscribed. So just take out all of the the previous inscriptions and just start off at the one that it messed up on. As you can see, this already has one confirmation and it was literally just put in. So if we go over to the ordinal site and scroll down a little bit, 
because a lot of people aren't inscribing now. It's ridiculous. Um, these are the exact ones that I put in, right? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they notice how they're like all it, it's so good, man. It's so clean. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible, especially to my holders of my project. Um, DM me anytime. I'm always here. Hope you guys have a good one.